people know a lot about Hull House um, in terms of the social services that they provided. What people know less about is the extensive arts programs that they offered here at Hull House. We are currently hosting an exhibition called Participatory Arts Crafting Social Change that's looking at the intersection of arts and social change at Hull House, the settlement, but also in Chicago. So we focused on four main areas of arts practices at Hull House. Uh, the first one is the connection between arts, craft, and labor. And we featured Ellen Gates Starr, who was probably the leader at Hull House um, and the one most aligned with the arts and craft movement. We have a number of her books that she bound on view in, in, in the exhibition right now. In that gallery, we also feature a contemporary bookbinder uh, named Regent of Gloria and his project called Everything on Wheels. So there's different prompts on his pedestals where he's featuring the books that he and others have made uh, uh, that people can respond to. The questions on the covers range quite a bit from very basic questions, who are you, where are you going, um, to, you know, things like what's most pressing uh, in your mind, just very sort of universal general questions that will encourage people to have some kind of response, just like we were to have a conversation with each other. You know, like I, I like to think of it, you know, when we sit together at the table doing exactly what I'm doing right now, just folding paper, making a stack of pages that will eventually become signatures allows for this other kind of interaction with each other and conversations to emerge out of being in the same place at one time. There's several moments too where nobody's saying anything and we're just folding and the sound of the bone folder, the tapping of paper against the table, the creasing of paper, all of that becomes quite nice. I don't know, maybe one of these days, some of the books that we've made will get archived on the level of some of Ellen Gates Starr's books where, you know, we want them to be in a climate controlled space where they don't erode and have that sort of contact with human beings and with, um, with people or oxygen and air and moisture, uh, just like any museum object. Currently, those, that's not really where our books are, are intended to be because they're intended to be engaged directly. And, and I think that's a fantastic juxtaposition, uh, you know, in a space like this, to be working on this stuff, on the object, um, with this kind of potential looming <laughs> around you. Uh, literally sort of this showing you what might be or what might happen and um, or what level, what potential they have as these objects that are made. I think that's a pretty wonderful place to be in. Ultimately, I'm trying to create some idea of a connection. Um, I don't do this with an intention that they're going to be for instance, they're gonna become so enthralled with the process that they're gonna become a bookbinder themselves or that they're going to become uh, a painter or engage in the arts on the level that I may have. Um, I think the most important thing is that people are just continuing to ask questions and explore uh, what creativity means to them. Um, and sometimes not even creativity, you know, the use of their hands, but this engagement with another person. Um, if they're allowed to interact with another person and be connected on some level, then I think that's a pretty great place to start.